smoke weed every day. day, 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 day. Yo, what's up guys? It's gonna be my fifth tutorial on my CFW tutorial series, and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to spoof the 4.70 after Sony tried to patch the spoofers. This will work on any custom firmware that's above 4.30, so Rebug, Habib, Rogero, Darknet, Ferox, PS Ida. And this will work on any Kex, Rex, Dex, or Cobra firmware. And before we start this tutorial, you need to disable your spoofer. I'm going to show you how to do it if you're on Rebug, but if you're on Habib or anything like that, Rogero, and your spoofer does not allow you to disable it after you go into it, it doesn't give you an option. Just reinstall the firmware, but make sure there's no disk in your PS3. And this is how you disable it on Rebug. Just go into Rebug Toolbox. And I'm going to show you my information. Uh, as you can see, I'm on 4.46 Rebugger X. So to disable the spoofers on Rebug, you just want to go over to Selector and go to System Mode and make sure it's on Normal. If you have it on Rebug and then you go back to Normal, uh, just restart your system. And that should be it. And I'll see you on the computer. All right, guys. So now that we're on your computer, you want to go in the description and download the CFW Tutorial Number 5 folder and plug in your USB. So... Here's my USB, you want to open the folder, and inside that you'll see a folder named SCN Enabler V5.8 for CAC Stacks for 4.70, just open that. And just drag over the SCN Enabler PKG, just drag it right on the root of your USB. And that's it, safely eject your USB, and I'll see you back on the PS3. Alright guys, so now that we're your PS3 again, you want to plug in your USB into the right USB port, and if you have a fat PS3 furthest to the right USB port, and I just plugged in my noun, so we're going to go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard Package Location, and just click X on SCN Enabler. And as you can see, it's right here, but first got to uh, go to Settings, Network Settings, and Disable the Internet. I already have it disabled, just make sure it's disabled. And then Run SCN Enabler. And then it's going to ask you for the update, just click OK. And this is the main screen, like the home page of SCN Enabler. Uh, there's other options you can do with SCN Enabler, like uh, delete your cycles and shit like that. But I don't know how to do it with SCN Enabler, so we're not going to do that. So to enable the spoofer, you just want to click square. And then it's going to ask you to enable SCN Access again. Just click square. Do you want to enable SCN Access? Just click X for yes. And then it's going to take a while, but it's going to ask you to reboot when it's done. All right, there we go. PSN slash SCN access enabled successfully. Do you want to reboot? Warning, if you do not reboot, your PS3 system will be unstable. So we're going to reboot it by clicking X. And I'll see you guys later. All right, guys. So once your PS3 restarted, just go over back to settings, network settings, uh, internet connection, enable it. The system settings so you know you're spoofed now as you see 4.70 spoof and then sign in now as you can see guys i signed in and um i'm going to show you quickly how to disable the spoofer in case you like want to downgrade or anything or change firmware so go back to network settings and disable the internet connection and then run SCN enabler again and the reason we got to do it this way is because this spoofer didn't make us have to go back in the rebug toolbox and then turn system mode back to rebug so you just want to click square again click square again to disable SCN access do you want to disable SCN access? Click yes. And then there you go. PSN slash SCN access disabled successfully. Do you want to restart? Just click X, yes. And then I'm going to do that. All right, guys. So now when your PS3 restarted again, just go back. I'll go back over to system settings again and show you. And I'm back on 4.46. Now I'm able to change firmers with no problems. And that's basically it. Uh, and I'm sorry for not uploading these tutorials more often. 
they take pretty long to make and I've been really busy with school and shit. And I'll make more of these like more often and please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.